كلمتنا لعبادنا المرسلين. Fact. Our government armed Osama bin Laden and the Mujahideen in Afghanistan and created Al Qaeda. Fact. Our government helped supply Saddam Hussein chemical weapons for him to use against Iran in 1980 and then overthrew him in 2003. Fact. Our government trained rebel fighters in Syria who have become the group today known as ISIS or the Islamic State. But what media and politicians are not telling you the truth about where ISIS came from, who created them. Entirely a creation of the United States' behavior in Iraq. That's how we got to where we are because of war, because of occupation, because of torture. ISIS actually began as a small insurgent group in Iraq in 2006. They had no money, no real ability to recruit, but they did work to create very limited problems for the US military. Then came a pivotal moment that most Americans aren't even aware of. Within just a matter of weeks of that Syrian general making his plea for international help, the US, the Saudis, Jordan, Qatar, Turkey, and Israel began providing weapons and training and money to the so-called rebel Free Syrian Army. Well, only months before, I had personally confronted President Obama about why the U.S. was covertly funding those Syrian rebels. And yet there's some concern about the U.S. funding uh, the Syrian opposition when yeah. there are a lot of reports that Al-Qaeda is yeah. kind of heading up that opposition. Yeah. Uh, how do you justify the two? Well, I, uh, I share that concern. Uh, and so uh, what we've done is to say we will provide non-lethal assistance to Syrian opposition leadership that are committed to a political transition, committed to uh, a, uh, an observance of human rights. By September of 2013, American media outlets, including CNN and the Washington Post, were reporting that CIA-funded weapons had begun flowing to Syrian rebels. The artillery was described as light weapons, some anti-tank weapons and ammunition. But where it all fell apart, weapons that the U.S. insisted would be used by freedom fighters would be in less than one year in the hands of ISIS fighters. So where were these fighters coming from? Actually, from the Free Syrian Army, the group that John McCain insisted would help the U.S. to overthrow Assad. That same group actually giving weapons, selling weapons, and sending fighters to join with this new group called the Islamic State. It was in June of 2014 that ISIS emerged heavily armed and trained by U.S. and coalition special forces. One of the most important facts that mainstream media ignores time and time again is that ISIS was able to grow so fast because of all the U.S. military equipment they were able to seize. Truckloads of Humvees, tanks and weaponry. Even when the U.S. government knew that ISIS fighters were capturing that equipment, for crying out loud, these guys were posting pictures of themselves driving and standing on U.S. military equipment making video of themselves with it, we did nothing. Why? Over the past few months, the U.S. government, who acted like they had never even heard of ISIS, suddenly, with the help of media, has turned the Islamic State into the new focus of the war on terror. Now, as ISIS has continued its rise, recruitment is exploding, and the group is becoming stunningly wealthy. ISIS is the, is the best-funded terrorist group in the world. They make some I think it's $2 million a day. Why is the U.S. sending $500 million to the Free Syrian Army to fight ISIS when the FSA is one of the biggest suppliers of fighters and weapons to ISIS? Why are we sending new and more powerful weapons to the FSA, like anti-aircraft missiles, weapons that we know will end up in the hands of ISIS? ISIS, of course, is going to now have anti-aircraft missiles provided by the U.S. and the Saudis are going to start shooting down, if they have the ability, passenger, myth, passenger jets. Well, there are so many questions that we could ask, but let's just cut to the chase here, because what you need to know about this is that ISIS is not the creation of American inaction, which is what the media is going to tell you. No, they are the product of direct action. First, the action of creating a power vacuum in Iraq, and secondly, arming violent jihadists, hoping they would overthrow a leader in a neighboring Middle Eastern country. And it's time that we reject the destruction of people groups around the world for the sake of foreign policy that makes so-called defense contractors rich and perpetuates violence, death, and destruction of entire people groups. Because humanity 
is greater than politics.